This week, we thought we'd take a look around for one of the lowest priced 4G mobile phones that has a 5.5 inch screen and running an Android version that's not too dated. So yes, we did indeed come across this Alcatel 1B smartphone. It is specified that's having a 5.5 inch HD plus screen, 32GB ROM, 2GB RAM, dual core, running Android 10 Go Edition that was launched at the end of 2019 with an average size 3000 mAh battery. Inside, we have the Alcatel 1B phone itself. Oh, okay, so it's not a sealed unit. Well, we're going to take a closer look real shortly, but first let's see what accessories we get. Alrighty then, so it looks like we've got a 3000 mAh lithium iron battery. There's a services contact card, a very simplistic quick start guide, the usual warranty etc, as well as a pine green rear phone cover. Yes, I guess it's not going to crack like glass backs on certain mobile phones, but I can't help but think that it does feel a bit cheap. We do get a standard UK charger head and... Uh, Okay, so we get a micro USB charge cable. This is a 2.0 USB cable. Is there any earphones? No, that's it. Oh well, let's move all this aside and let's take a closer look at the 1B phone. Now the front display sticker does indeed show some of the stuff we already know about this mobile phone. Like the fact that we only get two cameras. One front facing 5 megapixel camera and one rear facing 8 megapixel camera. Let's quickly insert the battery. Unfortunately, nope, it isn't a fully sealed unit, it doesn't have any type of waterproofing I'm afraid, but it is however a dual SIM phone. There's a SD card slot too, that can expand that memory up to 128GB max, which should really be plenty of memory for those HD video recordings etc. Let's peel the film off that rear cover, okay it does actually have a nice pattern, and quite a nice design, although it does again feel kind of cheap. Let's go ahead and peel that screen sticker off too, and let's power it on. After a very quick initial update, we get to a well lit clear home screen. Ok I wouldn't say it's the punchiest of screens, it certainly is nothing like a super AMOLED display, but you do get a fair amount of customizations to be had. It indeed has an IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen with a 720 by 1440 pixel resolution which actually is fairly responsive with a good amount of pre-installed apps included. Already, the one thing I don't like is that back function button. It is situated on the left rather than the right. But let's see how fast it is at opening YouTube. Oh, okay, uh, it's not exactly quick, but again that touch control it has a good reaction time. Let's just back up a sec, go into the settings and see what storage we've got remaining. Now it looks like we've got 26GB of that internal 32GB memory. That is after app usage. We've got 1.1GB remaining of that 2GB RAM, which ok it isn't much, but it is expected with this type of phone within that price range. With this phone sitting at around 50 to 60 pounds, that's around 92 in US dollars. As you can see it has a Qualcomm QM215 chipset, running Android 10 Go edition, and when it comes to that video stream playback, we have a 1080p 30 frames per second resolution, with smooth enough playback, pretty good black colour tone levels, and a good colourful contrast ratio. The internal speakers on the other hand, yes there's no stereo audio and there's only one speaker that's situated at the top. When it does come to the audio, the volume is nice and loud, but it is however a bit tinny. Both wired and wireless earphones can be connected, and when they are, music playback sounds real good. The main home screen lock can be in fact unlocked a number of ways, including face recognition too. Looking back to the bottom of the handset, there's that micro USB 2.0 port, there's a single pin microphone right next to it, a power button to the right hand side of the unit, with a volume rocker sitting just above. Now to the top, there's that 3.5mm headphone port. And yes, there is a Google Assistant button included too, to the left hand side. What time is it in Manchester? Pulling down that top notification bar, we have a few tiles that's already preset. With a good number of functions that can be added, like for example a flashlight or a battery saver function. Let's go ahead and let's test a few games out. Oh 
okay gameplay wasn't too bad, with just a few glitches now and again on certain games, and some imprecisiveness with touch controls. Games like Asphalt Airborne 8 did work perfectly fine, that is however on medium graphic settings. I wouldn't actually set it any higher, and that G-Sensor Tilt Direction Control is kind of swift too. Yeah, not bad for gaming for a budget handset, but once again, this phone just gets a little on the warm side after only 20 minutes use. As mentioned, this Accutel phone does have a 5 megapixel front facing camera, which really isn't too bad for taking those selfie videos. When it comes to that 8 megapixel rear camera though, it will record in full HD 1080p, which to be honest, okay, it's not that bad. The video quality is a little shaky, with no video stabilisation, but just like some of the still shots that we took, although they're quite colourful, the imagery does seem fairly washed out. And in addition, that microphone, although it does have high voice pickup, it does also however pick up any type of hand movement when you're holding the handset. Here's an example. Well, see the microphone right now is not that great. Um, it's picking up my audio, but what I've noticed is that when you're moving the camera ever so slightly and you're talking, it does pick up the rustling from my fingers when holding it. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. A budget handset with 4G network capabilities. It is an entry level phone that comes in black and pine green with a front screen that is an absolute fingerprint magnet that does feel relatively cheap and also gets a little heated after average use. Ok, I'm not saying that this handset is bad, after all, it is an entry level phone, but I do think it could be a good replacement phone, say if your kid or teenager has mistreated or damaged their more expensive one. Today I am going to give this Alcatel 1B a rating of 6 out of 10, and that is basing it within the budget range price category. Now if you'd like to check this phone out for yourself, I will leave a handy little link in the video description down below. Check it out for yourself, and if you like what you see, well why not go get yours. While you're in that video description guys, please make sure to smash that like button. Please subscribe to this channel today, making sure to hit that bell notification option, so you guys stay updated upon our new uploads. Now I'm going to be doing some more tech reviews coming real soon, so stay tuned for them in the next few days in fact, but as usual guys, please stay safe. And thank you ever so much for watching this video today. Peace!